principal engineer does a lot of things. They range from planning to designing to construction and overseeing construction in all fields. So from hydraulics to geotechnology to infrastructure construction and development. I find buildings and structures and the way things work exciting and engineering allows you to get to like the nuts and bolts of what, how, how things stand up. To have a successful career in civil engineering, uh, you need to have a good foundation uh, in mathematics and physics. So when the students come on board into our course, uh, we tend to build and expand on the knowledge that they've gained in, in these two topics. Our course itself has a theme of sustainability that runs through it. The best thing about the course is it's a very wide variety, so you get a, get a feel of everything. So you get your geotechnology, you get your hydraulics and you get your structures, which are three key areas and you get a good experience in all of them. I guess the best thing about the course here is that there, there's not a great deal of us. I mean, there's not hundreds and hundreds of students fighting for the lecturers' um, time. You can talk to your lecturers one-on-one, -on -one. you can talk to your, your tutors, know you by first name. You can just walk into your lecturer's office and they're generally available right then and there. In the last 10 years we've transformed this course. We've transformed it from an engineering toolkit course to one now which is, we think, far more engaging with the needs of the community and the challenges that these students are facing now and particularly into the future. A lot of the local industries provide scholarships to the students. Um, which has such bonuses as paid vacation work. They get financial support throughout their university career. They get career mentoring. And also, in most cases, a guarantee of a job, which is very important and a great incentive for the students. I've been working for the Royal City of Wangaratta for the last four and a half years. They gave me a gap year position where I just I worked with engineers and I did a traineeship. And then at the end of my gap year, they offered me a scholarship. They give me um, a lump sum scholarship every year and paid employment every summer and every winter and it also gives me really good practical experience. Um, I've done project management, traffic management, um, dealing with subdivisions, drainage, just all manner of things and it's just really helpful for some of the work I do at uni. Presently we have about eight students on scholarships. So it's a good start for us and we hope for a good start for the students. Uh, this year we've, we've just actively recruited six graduate engineers and started a, a program and the three of those are from uh, La Trobe Uni. Very, very pleased to have them on board. Great students. Bendigo is a great place to live. It's got a great lifestyle, great social life, um, heaps of activities. People here are good, very friendly, um, great public transport system, easy to get around. I'm on units at the moment, which is really, really fun, real social. Just the people, look. you can walk around and you can know people rather than in Melbourne you walk around and half a million people there and you just don't know anyone. To be a good civil engineer you have to have an inquisitive mind to be a good thinker and to be a responsible individual. And real interest in, in engineering and curiosity. They're the things that we're sort of really interested in. Obviously they've had some insight into science and mathematics and, uh, and they want to pursue that further in the very broad field of civil engineering. Over the next five, six years, maybe ten years, the demand for engineers, environmental engineers, chemical engineers, civil engineers, uh, water engineers, mechanical engineers, is just going to outstrip the supply and so it's a huge growth area. Well there's uh, so many jobs out there at the moment and um, if you like physics and maths, well it's probably definitely the course to choose.